Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode in my classic career mode, here today around Imola. Uh, some of you may remember this if you're of a certain age, where they used to go around this in real life, obviously. Um, but more modern cars used to go around there as well, because it had a uh, different track layout to what it used to, I think. Um, or something like that. But uh, there's the grid for the uh, Italian Grand Prix, because I haven't got Monza on this calendar, as you may know. But um, I'm, all, I'm starting in fifth, again. And Prost is 7th, so let's see what he can do in this race. But uh, I will now hand you over to the grid presentation for the Italian Grand Prix. Here we are then on the grid for the Italian Grand Prix. What can we do from 5th place as per usual as the 5 red lights come on now, it's 4, it's 5. The lights out on the way we go for the Italian Grand Prix here. Irvine has got off to a relatively, well, sluggish start, but Mansell has got off to a terrible start. He's blocked us, and we've got nowhere to go. Um, maybe we can get down the inside here. No, we've hit Mansell, we've, we've cut the corner a little bit, we've, we've, we've got an illegal overtake, that's what's happened there. And because of that, we lose a load of positions, we lose onto our teammate. We also we almost lose onto Prost there, but we're going to keep it down the inside of him on this corner. No, we're not. Um, I think better of it. And we almost lose a place to Schechter as well, but I'm not going to lose a place to him. As we do a huge dive bomb down the inside of Prost, and we get sixth place back. So we possibly get our teammate in this corner. No, we've got a bit hairy off the exit there, and we've now got sixth place. So we wasn't the best start to the Grand Prix, but uh, moving on later on into lap one now. We've got a better exit out of that chicane on our teammate. Is he going to try and block us? No, we're going to wiggle our way around past him as we go down the inside of this corner here. And we've just about got past him. He's still on our outside there, but we've just about got past him. And now moving on to lap two now. We're now behind, right, right behind Irvine. He's gone a bit wide. He's messed it up. He's gone wide. And we've done the undercut and we've gone right past him. So this has been a good, a good recovery drive here as we are now coming on to lap three now. We're now right behind Schumacher, we've got a better exit there. Can we possibly go around the outside here into this corner maybe? I don't know, might be able to. And we've done it because the AI doesn't like to hold it down the inside in this corner. It's a set of fastest lap. So, yeah. Uh, moving on to the end of lap 3 now, going to lap 4. Um, we come across the line to set a new fastest lap of the Grand Prix, which is 129.9. As we now cut on to lap 5 now. We now have got a better exit from that chicane again, so we've got a very good exit from that chicane every time now. As we go down the inside of Nigel Mansell, maybe we've locked up, we've messed up, we've messed up our braking zone, we've gone into the gravel, and he's got back past. <laughs> ignore what, ignore that. Basically, what happened there was I missed my braking zone, and um, because he was in the way. I mean, you know, I've got racing line on. But I was concentrating on where Mansell was at the time, so I missed my braking zone. And yeah, that I kind of missed the braking zone, went down into first, which was a bad idea because the car just slid across the track and I ended up in the gravel. But uh, we're in the pit lane now for our first scheduled pit stop of the Grand Prix. Um, obviously, as you can see, there's been a lot more action in, the, in this episode than there has been in the past few episodes, so I hope you're happy with this. Um, coming out right behind Nigel Mansell now, and hopefully, we can get him in the next few laps because that would be preferable. Prost got Prost has jumped everyone. To get into a to get into third place. What is what is up with that guy recently? Uh, but moving on now to lap seven, we've got a better exit from that corner again. We've gone around the outside of Nigel Mansell this time. We're breaking now into the corner. We've gone to the curb, and again we've ran wide. <laughs> that corner, I had trouble with that corner every every lap. Basically. Apart from the last few where I was getting used to it, um, you know I had problems with that corner every single lap. As we now cut on to the end of lap 8, moving on to lap 9 now. And we are now right, as we've set a new fastest lap as well, the 128.2. As we're now right behind Nigel Mansell, we've got a better speed in the straight line. Better speed in the straight line. Better straight line speed. As we go around the outside of him there, into first place. And that is us. Well, as you can see there, the AI, for some reason, breaks quite heavily um, when they're on the inside of someone. I don't know why. As we set a new fastest lap, 127.3. Um, I don't know why, for some reason, AI on this game, on 2014, if any of you had these, both of those games, um, they used to break really hard and didn't accelerate for a while afterwards if they were down the inside. 
But um, as you can probably tell here now, Prost has jumped Mansell, and I've gone four laps over my scheduled pit stop because I realised that you know um, that my tyres weren't actually that bad. So you know, I decided to go for a bit a bit extra longer and try and get rid of one pit stop from the uh, from the scheduled pit stops. So uh, as we come out now, still in first place, and Bob's your uncle. Looking at the radar, it looks like we might have light rain in about 15 minutes. So there's light rain on the horizon then, as we uh, come across the line to lap Capelli there, once again. We think there's a chance of light rain in 10 minutes time, 10 minutes. Weather reports suggest light rain in approximately 5 minutes. So we have light rain on the horizon then, uh, as, we, as you can see here we're now lapping Ralph Schumacher. Um, who is in ninth place, so we've lapped everyone up since the ninth. Um, I didn't really want to show me lapping everyone, because it would just get boring. Um, it was coming across line to set at 126.7, so we're getting faster and faster as uh, we cut on to the end of lap 27 now on starting lap 28. Uh, we've come across line again to set a new fastest lap at 126.2, so we're getting a lot quicker here uh, as we come across the line at the end of lap 28 now. Um, as we set a 1.25.9 so <laughs> we've gone a hell of a lot quicker here um, as we're now on lap 29 setting new fastest laps again or lap fastest sectors um, as we're having a difficult time lapping Irvine for some reason um, as you can see Mantle there has gone past um, has gone past Prost there but uh, I will now let you listen to the final lap of the Grand Prix So here are the final race classifications then for the Italian Grand Prix. I finish ahead of Nigel Mansell by 56 seconds, and then Alan Prost finishes uh, finishes behind him, uh, which is very valiant from him. And uh, Schumacher finished ahead of my teammate, and Schecht managed to finish ahead of Jean Lacy, who was the final car on the lead lap, and Coulthard actually, actually DNF'd. So that's not very good for the constructor standings for that team. Um, but uh, as I extend my lead in the driver standings, uh, as you'll see it in a minute here, um, it should be very nice viewing for myself, as we are now 29 points ahead of Nigel Mansell. But I um, hope you all enjoyed that episode. I know there's a lot more action in that episode, but I uh, hope you all enjoyed that episode, and I will see you next time for the Hungarian Grand Prix. Goodbye. Goodbye.